Yeah. When's the last time you were on a dam? That is true. This is the first time ever that we are walking on a dam. That is pretty amazing. And it's all paved, so it's perfect for strollers, you know, for anything. You know I want you close. Maybe hold your hand a little while. Somehow I know you're gonna be the girl that I'll end up calling my own. We ride around in style. Sleeves rolled up, glasses on And then you make that style And my heart starts racing When I'm with you mm -hmm. Hello When I'm with you Hello Hello Can't get enough of this Being with you is like never ending sunshine Feels like everything Stops for a while When we look into each other's eyes So we're now going to go get the largest popcorn mm -hmm. and the largest Mr. Pib yeah. they have. And a large, the largest icy. And a large yeah. icy. And we're going to rock the movies. So let's head in. Three hour movie. Let's go. Well, looks like you're going to have to take the wall down. The water uh, siren is going off. Ooh. What is it again? So bright and early this morning, we are headed out on a daddy-daughter day because I promised her if she did good in school and she was an amazing help this week that I would take her to the movies and we would have some fun. Yes. She woke up at 6 a.m. and ran in and was like, I'm ready to go. So she's actually been making plans without me. I have no idea. She says, when are we going to Sweetie's Donut Shop? I said, apparently right now. <laughs> so she jumped in the ice cold car and has been sitting there for at least five minutes. So I, I, I think she's shooing me out the door <laughs> to start the day of fun. So you know what? Let's get Maximus fueled up, get some donuts, get us fueled up, and we're heading over to the movies. All right, we are here at Sweetie's Donuts. Mm -hmm. You know what you're gonna have? Yes, what? one strawberry icing donut. One donut, we came here for one donut. We are totally not going to a donut shop for one donut. Uh, <laughs> at least you're getting something. No, we are, we are going to gorge. This is, this is daddy daughter day. <laughs> You get hot chocolate. Yay! I'm getting an, another cup of coffee, is what I'm getting. <laughs> what you got in there? We've got a chocolate eclair. What? A blue donut, a pink sprinkle, two glazed, and one regular pink. Well, I'll tell you what, daddy daughter day's already started great. So I just want to note, I didn't even get in the car yet before she's halfway done with that donut. <laughs> I know that I've got a chocolate eclairs just waiting. Cream filled and delicious. Yay! Do you want any of this? No, oh, thank you. You're not having any. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What time does the movie play? I have no idea. That's fantastic. Oh, you, having, you having problems back there? Yes, I am. 
Tell you what, I'm gonna have to toughen you up. Gotta get robust. <laughs> I already ride my bike every day and run a lot. <laughs> really? Yes, yes. One handed. Thank you. Was that really one handed? No, that's editing. <laughs> <laughs> Diesel. Three thousand five hundred ninety-nine dollars. <laughs> Close. But that's what it says. Three dollars and fifty-nine cents. Then what's the extra nine for? Really? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. So no daddy-daughter day can be performed in a diesel without getting a top off. <laughs> Every time you turn around, you're going to be filling up. So. We are getting closer, but we're going to go in and grab some snacks because apparently M&M's are a prerequisite to going to the movie theater. These are things you learn when you have daughters, I guess. <laughs> it's all locked. I don't need to open yet. Mm -hmm. You were here way too early. Yeah. We gotta see what time they open. They, they're they still locked. That's how excited she is. They just opened. They're just so. now opening. So we're gonna give them a couple minutes because that means the popcorn is fresh. Yes. Not stale. See? That's why we go early. These are the benefits of having zero people in the parking lot. But dad... I think we might have. Wait, wait, there's Maximus. Yeah. But Dad, yeah. I think we might have wasted the time at the gas station. Don't right waste here. time at a gas station. Look, it says this is the best here. time. We're RVers. It says no else. The only time race. you ever spend is at a rest area or a gas station. The sign literally says, hello, hi there. No, I, outside food or drinks are permitted. We don't have any outside food or drinks. You just have a couple candy bars and whatever in your backpack. A couple? <laughs> this is not my idea, it's her idea. Excuse me. <laughs> totally. That was her or his idea. Are you excited? Yes. Are you super duper excited? Yes. It's amazing. You know where we're going? So that was fantastic. That was really fun. We just got out of the movie theater. <laughs> uh, amazing. The the movie theater, we had no idea, was a reclining luxury. Um, not a lot of seats because they all reclined back, had tables. I mean, you couldn't ask for anything better. It was, it was pretty awesome. That's what I've been to so far. Well, you haven't been to that many, but in the future, you will go to plenty. Well, in the past, when I've been to them, it hasn't been this fancy. That's true. That's true. We haven't seen that, you know, that nice since uh, we were in Dubai. It's either so. our, the ones that I've been to was either foldable chairs mm -hmm. or very long couches. Long couches? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Ten years old. That's different world. What do you see? Oh my goodness. So, our father daughter day has expanded <laughs> to mothers and daughters and daddies and daughters. <laughs> you missed us so much, you wanted to include us. Yep. So, we are now going to the Heritage Museum just around the corner where they have dinosaurs. Do you see dinosaurs? Mm -hmm. Yes. Our, yep. We're super excited. They have, I think they have dinosaur footprints, like real ones. Yeah, so apparently the reservoir, the story is unconfirmed. we got to figure that out. That's why we're here. Uh, had a breach and washed away some of the hill and exposed dinosaur footprints. Let's do it. Yeah, so we're going to go in and see what it's all about. Yep. You ready? Yep. Let's go.
So just as soon as we walked in, we ran into Miss Judy who works here and she explained to us that the gorge is a separate area and um, it was part of a dam that broke mm -hmm. and washed out about a mile long section and it just exposed all kinds of dinosaur footprints. So it is true, but it's not here at the Heritage Museum. So we did find that out. Yep. And they actually have fossils all around. This used to be, even though it's hill country, uh, Texas hill country, this used to be the uh, seabed. So as it rose up, mm -hmm. all the rocks, just rocks everywhere. You can actually see fossils just laying around. And because of droughts, yeah. the riverbeds dried out and they found more uh, little dinosaur footprints. So how so, exciting. So exciting. Everywhere you go, there's a town near here called Blanco and they're in a drought right now mm -hmm. and the riverbed uh, dried up. And as you go out looking, there's dinosaur footprints. That's so the whole cool. area is just rich in, in, in fun and excitement. Looks like we're not quite done exploring this place after all. Exactly. <laughs> crazy to think that crocodiles are dinosaurs. They have been around for 200 million years. They look like dinosaurs. Yeah, they do. They actually do. Hollywood has completely destroyed all imagination. What is that? Dinosaur egg. Can you hear it? It says is it's it hatching soon. Is it hatching? Okay. Yeah, that's very cool. Okay. Daddy? Someday we'll crack. Eggs will crack. They will. Mm -hmm. What's going to come out? A dinosaur. A dinosaur's? Mm -hmm. Baby dinosaurs. Outstanding. Because they're so cute and they love us. The dinosaurs love us. That's amazing. Just being able to see the uh, details of the footprints. How cool. <laughs> There are a few places in the world like this place here. Yeah. You hear Heritage Museum and you're like, oh, you know, no big deal. Let's go check it out. And then you show up and you're like, mind blown. Oh it's my. It's a huge area. It is a huge area. Yeah. I had no idea that there's this many footprints in one area. Remember How? we were in uh, St. George? Yeah. In Utah? And they had that uh, museum with the footprints? This one is even bigger than that. That is crazy. And you don't expect that in Texas. Mm -mm. But yeah, this place is just um, big. epically big. <laughs> <laughs> that is incredible. All those right there are footprints, yeah. and that's just some of them. They are everywhere. This used to be right at the edge of a lake mm -hmm. way back when. No, the Crustacean Sea. The Crustacean Sea. Yeah. So that's why they are still so, uh, um, how do you say, pronounced. Pronounced. Yeah. It's amazing. Really? <laughs> well, this place is full of surprises. It's not just the covered area, but there's a whole section behind. It's just, this is fantastic. 
what a way to spend the outdoors. Great views, beautiful sun, dinosaur footprints. Epic. Now you know why they have them covered over there under that big roof, because uh, the ones that are not covered are a lot more uh, worn from the weather. And the sun reclaims everything. That one was really good still. Yep, that one. I'm sure if you look here, they keep going back. Oh, yeah. It's probably a huge area. This is just one little shelf that was exposed. I'm sure if you remove the rest of this, yeah. you'll find a whole lot more. Mm -hmm. I, I'm going to find a fossil. You're going to find a fossil? Yeah. Stay back. Yeah, look around. Fossil, you can keep it. You gotta look. You gotta find a fossil. Yeah. The fossil hunt is on. Yeah. We don't know what to look for. We've never done fossil hunting. I'm super excited. A little geology, yeah. and you can find a fossil. Here you go. You gotta know what to look for. What? Oh. Oh, let's find another one. <laughs> I don't see it. That's why you're not a paleontologist. <laughs> <laughs> So when I grew up, my father was a geologist for United States Steel in Birmingham, Alabama. And we always went to the quarries. So there was never a rock formation that dad didn't love to just look at and see, especially when the interstates cut through mountains. You have all those different layers that are exposed every single time. He just got a kick out of that. And it's fun to be able to take the girls here to see all of this natural rock uh, geological formations and one of the things that we want to do is we want to try to find a shale quarry somewhere in the u.s where we can go into the quarry and open up those different layers of shale and start to see ferns and other fossils so that's one of our goals and kind of a takeaway from here it's great seeing the footprints but it's also fun to find them yourself yeah so we're going to do some research if you guys know put it in the link below where a shell quarry, where the girls can go and take a hammer and just explore. I think it'd be fantastic. We know it's somewhere in America. We're gonna find it. We're gonna find it. <laughs> What'd you find? Wow. What'd you see? I found a fungus. Look at that. You found a fossil. Mm -hmm. Good job. <laughs> All right, we just checked online. We did find out that Canyon Lake Gorge is open. So we're gonna head on over there and see what they have to offer. the Canyon Lake Gorge and at the visitor center they actually give out let's see your backpack they actually give out these backpacks to the kids it's a scavenger hunt it comes with a backpack binoculars uh, compass magnifying glass everything you need to do an epic scavenger hunt extravaganza I think I'm being stared at I think you're being stared at, being stared at. everyone's being stared at but Everybody. yeah how amazing Father-Daughter Day turns into dinosaur footprints, scavenger hunts, 
up and down. This is this is incredible. What do you see? View. Yeah. Alright, what's first on the scavenger hunt list? The first on the scavenger hunt list is A, which is a Valentine's Day heart. Let's find it. Where letter A is, our first scavenger hunt item is, is at the reflection point. Well, you've got the map, girl. I see people. So we found out by reading the signs that this event happened in 2002 where the lake actually rose and overtook the dam. And it's never happened before, never happened since. And there was enough rainfall that fell at that time that could have filled the entire lake up one and a half times. So it was never going to hold, but it completely just washed away and just completely exposed all of what we're seeing now. The overlook, come on, let's look over here. Wow, this is beautiful. Can you imagine all that water rushing down? That is pretty scary. No, that's just, that's incredible. Yeah. You don't want to be in a, a path like that. No, our heart goes out to everyone involved in that incident. Yeah. Those tree roots look like antlers. They sure do. That's so crazy. I guess in the uh, Texas Hill Country, there's not a lot of dirt. No, that's true. <laughs> a lot of rock. Uh, it looks like uh, we saw, from the overlook, we saw an area where it looked like you can go down there. But it has to be a guided tour, so you can't just go there mm. alone. That's all right. We'll do it next time. Yep. Today, it's exploring time. Did you find it? Yes. Nice. We totally enjoyed our trail walk at the Canyon Lake Gorge. Amazing. It was awesome. Uh, so we just found out that on the trail you won't see the footprints, the dinosaur footprints, but they do have a three hour long tour. Um, it's seven and up, so we wouldn't have been able to do it with uh, Emily. However, they will send you to the Heritage Museum, Texas, Texas Hill Country Heritage Museum, if you have children below seven. Where we just were. Where we just were, because they have uh -huh. all the dinosaur footprints without all the cliffs and the danger. Cli climbing <laughs> through the actual gorge. But you also get to hunt for fossils when That's you're amazing. on that tour. That's so it's definitely something we'll have to do in the future. Um, mm -hmm. You can make your reservations, I think, about a year in advance. So I, I think it's very popular. Um. You know what? <laughs> to go hiking and trekking through a gorge, yeah. fo doing live fossil hunting, all of it. Yeah. I mean, that's fantastic. Seeing a vault line up close. And, I mean, you, and you guys can see wow. why it's seven and above yeah. just from the from the walk we made. Yeah. And the walk itself, it's a beautiful nature trail, it amazing is. views. Yeah. It's definitely kid-friendly, and it was worth it. So. Yes. I don't know about hiking down into the gorge, but you know yeah. what? That's for next time. That's for next time. So we really did enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. What a great day. It is. Yep. <laughs> Look at you, you pianist. I only know one song. So. Well, that's pretty good. It's more than I know. <laughs>